aim is being told to take a risk to earn something while everybody knows it's happening they try to catch you taking that risk to stain a new character mobilization on you everyone knows we're playing the game the game tries to kill you for not playing it as far as the other players and still surviving now it's not a game when it's not a game anymore, it means it's just trying to eliminate you now for your resistance to it. And now I don't care. It gains nothing from me at the level that it's attacking. So it's got to restructure itself between you guys, become a new story of invitation, confusion, investigation, attempt to trap and then release because of agreed upon logical error to the situation. I wanted to take an opportunity to respond to Phil DeFranco's video today. I, I'm probably going to struggle to remember some things, um, but I'm not concerned about that. I think I still have a general sort of reaction to the video in the state that I am in now and with some time to think about it and let it sort of process within my natural ability right now. Um, there's a couple of things I wanted to say. The stories that got my attention. The money glitch, I guess I should try to keep things in order. I'm just gonna do whatever it takes to remember all the points that are actually irritating me so that I can get them said and then like say, well, I did everything I could here, so relax. Uh, the money glitch thing, absolutely crazy that you posted a video about me, be about, about, about a money glitch at the same time that I'm sitting here thinking about currency and how uh the things that you're doing and the things that you're you're making the things that, that are happening right now are are still occurring for free um even if i don't like I, i'll die for free i'll die for free and i think that that's just crazy and if, if there's a call side either way then no matter what i'm doing it's earning this money glitch thing, you posted that at the right time because I'm literally here over here saying, you know, the friction of what I'm doing right now, the level of currency I provide to intellectual thought and with neurological connection to intellectual thought, that's literally just electricity. It's still electrons being uh, charged and moved and transformed and all that stuff. When I do the things that I do, it actually alters the electromagnetic field to create a greater friction of perception within the environment. And so this allows us to actually get around certain collisions that we thought were impossible to avoid before. Now I'm struggling to remember other stories. I feel like I'm being called to remember a story right now, but that call is also stopping me from doing it. There was a moment there that I saw an argument that you were dealing with. I fucking hate life, bro. It, it make it look easy, but you still need to be expressing that it's hard. Make it, make it easy, but don't ever make it too easy. Make the hard stuff easy, but don't make it so easy that you don't remember that it's hard.
I appreciate what you do. It's a healthy... I, I do the two hypothetical concepts at the same time. One of them being the idea of my understanding of you and what opinion you would have of me at this moment without communication. And then... There's this part right here that's just so hard to even... Whatever it is I'm trying to do to it right now. It seems like it might be possible that saying all those bad stories could be making them happen more often. But I also agree with the idea that if they are still happening for some reason that we don't understand, then we need to be informed and to keep thinking of solutions and rationalizations and changes to the shared neurological electron field from here as best we can to alter the path of those collisions. Now, if one ever gets to the point where they think that there must be those type of collisions anyway in order for life to make sense, then they are just stuck in the initial motion that they became conscious in as a safety mechanism. So I feel like I felt the game here of remembering. And because I felt the game, my memory is going to get worse, collectively speaking. Like, you guys can add the compression that you use to disturb me and make me forget a little harder and say that, no, that's just how it is. No, we're not doing anything. That's just how it is. You know, all that stuff. I remember the challenge. It seems like I'm being pushed down. There's some other reactions to that video that I I really enjoyed. Um, we we're talking about the Hamas crisis. It's like you're literally choosing the reactions you want me to have right now without preparation. But these reactions are just going to end up bad because they couldn't grasp on to something that was happening in time. So this unpreparedness is actually a flaw in this circumstance. So... The Hamas-Israel fighting conflict. There was a part that freaked my mind out where it looked like for a second, it was implied that they could just be telling the stories. Uh, like, like there was a part where you were saying, um, even if you never watched the video, I'm still directly addressing you. Uh, there's a part where you were saying, um, Well, they just applied that rule to f combat, but we're not fucking fighting right now. I was talking about in the sense where I'm not attacking you, I have the ability to directly address you here. And because of our shared interaction with the field, it becomes something that you interact with on a personal level. But if you want to fight, you have to directly address that shit. And I mean directly. I don't mean like directly within a channel of comfort. If, if we're in a place where there's no channel of comfort, then you do need to be direct. You think that there's something on the plane that needs to be changed? You need to state that directly. You need to say that out loud and you need to say it with the intention of accepting the same level of consequence that you're applying in your reaction to the plane. There was a point where you were saying in the video that um, hostages were killed. Now, I know this is dangerous territory because it's in the goal of proving that life is whatever you want it to be. These problems that seem to keep happening sort of hold you back and say, yeah, but based on what you said, this is happening now. And, and so it's hard to kind of solve these world's problems while also winning this other game that really does affect your situation. Um, in the video, you were saying that when the hostages got killed, that Hamas claimed that the Israelis, or that the, the, the government that attempted to negotiate to get those hostages back to safety were the ones that actually killed them. 
And now here we're at a really strange collision because you, it, now it's implied here. Now I'm gonna say this physical part here that could be possible. I don't think it's actually happening. If it is, it's so ridiculous that I'm comprehending it like it's a hypothetical situation from here. Um, the fucking Hamas kills the hostages and then accuses the government that was trying to save them of actually doing it. And now it looks like both sides are trying to create a political, um, uh, what is this? A political, it's like they're grabbing the audience and just trying to pull them as hard as they can into the other guy without thinking. So at this point, it's like, uh, if, if and everyone's lied at some point. We've all tried the whole, what if, what if this isn't lying? What if this is what I just need to do to make it happen? Everyone's lied because of that, okay? So whenever you say that there was fucking like a confusion about which side is telling the truth, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, bro, either this isn't my business or this is. Why the fuck am I here? Like, bro, my reaction to this is getting too solid, bro. I'm still moving. Okay. So I was thinking hypothetically. At the point at which both sides are strategizing to generate a story for an audience to react to from a distance in which they cannot confirm what's happening. If the government that wanted to save the hostages understands that with that level of negotiation and ceasefire being so high up and wanted and reached for by everybody around them, um, that if something were to violate it at this point of hope, that the side that was reaching forward would just fucking out of fucking attempt to joy themselves be aggressive and destroy the side that caused it to be wrong so you say that there's a confusion about uh you don't say it, but it's implied just by you expressing the story objectively which is what i assume you're doing even if you have your personal opinions which you've been honest about so i trust you They tell you that the, the guys that we already have these negative connotations for just did something negative, and then there's a confusion, and that confusion, if you're on the government that tried to save the hostages' side, means that they just tried to lie on the government to get us to not trust the government. If we go with the government side, then these guys just completely fucking raised our hope to try and uh, bait us into a sense of comfort before they got aggressive again. Am I gonna, what is this? <laughs> Why am I still here, bro? Um, okay, so at this point with the shape comprehended, um, it seems like both sides have done something dirty here in an attempt to try and just make heaven what the, like to whatever they all want Whatever like this side wants and that side wants is like their heaven that they're trying to create right now And they're all trying to figure out how to do it without dealing with any consequences And so if this side wants to make their heaven without consequence and this side wants to make their heaven without consequence at the distance that I'm observing it now um, I can try to add some sort of new uh, comprehension um, logic in between them to create a sort of ability to comprehend and ability to be separate within the same space and never run into each other. Um, but that's gonna be hard to do at the level of restriction that I'm already receiving right now. Like I'm, I'm, being, I'm being held back. There are things that I'm being allowed to know all of a sudden. There are things that I'm not being allowed to know still, but I think I need to know those things because I'm lost here. I, I just got pain for doing that. I just got pain for being honest. Okay, just mean, I'm, I'm, look, I'm doing everything I can. Um, but at the Israeli-Hamas conflict, which I'm assuming it was the Israeli government, but you were saying that it was a, it was a, it was an American hostage, so that means the American go government was also negotiating. Huh. My take on the whole situation, from the idea that I got today, is both sides just need to accept that the other side 
only ever tried their tricks because they thought that it was an honest way to just make it happen right now without a problem. And that when it went wrong, because everyone was being so honest, their attempt to defend themselves became an unwillingness to listen to the accusations they knew were prepared before that point. So, obviously with every single relationship, even if there's fighting, there's also cooperation. Meaning, even the governments that are fighting each other are also cooperating. So they have some attempt to keep up a charge within themselves against the audience. There is a communication between those two governments that is not being shared with the rest of the world. 